Hey guys, so I am coming to you via webcam because my big camera is charging right now um, for the upcoming weekend um, and I wanted to still make this video for you guys. I have no makeup, my hair is a mess, um, I'm still in pajamas from last night. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to do like an update video. Um, I know in a lot of my videos I'm like, hey, you know, I haven't been, you know, been a video in a while and then I go a while without a video. And that is because I have been so incredibly busy these past few months. Um, most of you know that I am now working at a studio called Happy Statue Studio in Monroe, Georgia, and we have been doing events every single weekend. Um, I think this weekend is the first weekend that we have not planned a shoot. Um, so I've been there working, um, building my makeup and photography portfolio and also my modeling portfolio and I'm slowly getting into modeling um so it's kind of it's a lot of work but it's a lot of fun um I just kind of started doing modeling just for fun but I just find it really empowering to me personally and I can be really, really creative, and I don't, it doesn't have to just pertain to cosplay, which you guys know I am a huge cosplay fanatic. Um, I have like a million cosplays in the works right now, but I get to also intertwine my love of costuming with makeup, hair, and photography, and it's just a lot of fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, we're also planning on doing, like, promotion stuff for other companies, like, if you have your own clothing line, or your own, um, accessories line, we want to help out those businesses, and, um, help get, like, promotional images for you, for your stuff, um, we have, like, these staff models, and they can wear your products and get really cool photos, so if you want to be part of that, um, I'll put the email below to our, um, account, um, is happystatuestudio at gmail.com, and we will be more than happy to help get to promotional photos, and you can live anywhere in the world, um, and we can help make that happen. Um, as far as studio, I have also been doing some makeup and photography on the side as well. Um, I recently did a burlesque show for my friend Anna for the Cheeky Bells burlesque show, so that was really, really cool. Um, I'll insert a picture here. And she did Jasmine, um, and it was absolutely awesome. The show was really good. I had to leave halfway through because I had another shoot that I had to go to right after that. So I only got to see, like, up to her part, but it was really fun. So I hope to go to more of those shows and all that good stuff. Um, I also, that same day, I did makeup for Alan Z here on YouTube his newest music video that is coming out very soon. Um, he's an amazing artist and he's actually going to be performing here um, in a few weeks, I want to say. Uh, March 25th, he's going to have a um, performance. It's going to be his first live show and I'm going to be doing makeup for him then as well. So I'm really excited. Um, I've actually been a fan of his found him through the um, K-pop covers and stuff and he's just really talented and amazing. Check him out. I'll put his links below as well. Um, so yeah, um, while I've been doing all of these extra shoots and extra makeup gigs and stuff, one of the photos that I did for a friend of mine, Astrid um, Von Winter, 
actually ended up in a magazine. <laughs> um, I need to find it because I need to have that copy. Um, I will put the photo right here. But it was featured in Dark Beauty magazine and I am over the moon. I didn't even know that they were going to submit it to the magazine. And then they did and I was like, holy shit. <laughs> so that's awesome. I'm super excited, super happy. Um, <laughs> yeah, so along with working at the studio, we are having an event next weekend, which is going to be like our circus theme. Um, if you guys want to come out, I will have the link below to our Facebook page and you can get all the information there. We're, again, we're in Monroe, Georgia, so come out if you're in the area or if you're in Georgia and you want to do some awesome things, that'd be awesome. So, um, yeah, and also, um, I am looking to build my portfolio, so if you are in, like, the Gwinnett or surrounding areas, um, let me know and we can plan a shoot. I think it would be really fun and I would get to meet more people, so that'd be awesome. So, uh, let's see, lately, like I said, I've been super busy, um, I, let's see, I've been working a lot with Corpse Cosmetics, obviously, my cosmetics line, um, I'm trying right now to create a new formula for the gel eyeliners, um, I saw, uh, Ashid Aesthetics, recent review over the gel liners and I'm definitely not happy with the liners themselves. Um, I'm so glad she actually said something in the video and I'm very grateful to that so I know what I need to correct and what I need to um, improve in my line because I want to have amazing quality products and a lot of people are just like oh these are so awesome yay these are cool. Um, but thank you, Astrid, for letting me know what I need to work on, what I need to kind of amp up. So I'm currently, I've currently been trying different methods with the gel liners, um, the Octa Ink liners, and, um, just trying to get something that will set faster, um, because I feel like it, like, it goes on really good but it doesn't want to set and some of them are less opaque than others and I just really want to find a happy medium in between where everything is just the same. <laughs> um, some of you may or may not know is when I get an order I create the products on hand so um, I don't have like a ton stocked up somewhere I it's all made by hand made to order made at the time of the order and um, so sometimes things can be a little different I need to get better at keeping things more consistent so um, I just have a lot to work on my cosmetic line but it's definitely not going anywhere I've been doing this for almost six years and I've had a lot of ups and downs with it a lot of good, a lot of bad, um, and I'm very grateful to everyone who has purchased from me and um, supported my company and even those who didn't because um, people talking crap pretty much helps me to figure out what I need to work on, so yeah. And I know that people are going to talk crap no matter what, like you can have the perfect product and look perfect and do perfectness and be the epitome of perfection and people will still hate you <laughs> and that's a big lesson that I have to overcome um, and I think I've pretty much overcome that a lot um, past few months so um yeah it's just like you know people will like you people won't if they don't like you they can keep walking you know um so yeah um what else have I been up to um, I have been working really hard on weight loss. I know I use, sometimes like I say, it all the time, but the beginning of the year, I really started really, really hard. Um, I have a amazing motivational 
person in my life now um, that helps motivate me to exercise, eat healthy, and be the best version of me, be the person that I know that I can be, um, and I'm so grateful for them. They have done so much for me, um, emotionally, mentally, physically, um, spiritually, and, um, I could not imagine life without them. Um, and I actually got to spend Valentine's Day with that person, so, um, I've been spending a lot of time with them as well. Um, nothing set in stone yet, maybe one day. Um, but I just find that person very close to my heart, and, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> um, let's see. <sighs> I don't know if I've talked about this or not, but in October, I will be going to Japan with my best friend Domi and her husband Dion. We have been planning this trip for over a year now, and it's the year. We are going this October, I think it's the 7th through the 18th, so we'll be there about 12 days. I'm super excited. I'm super nervous. I've been practicing my Japanese like crazy. Thank God Domi can read Japanese because I don't think I can learn to read Japanese by the time we go. So if you're going to be in the area in that time, we should hang out, um, meet up, go to a cafe, um, there's so many places I want to visit when I go to Japan, um, Akibahara, I want to go to Harajuku, obviously, um, I want to do all the gachapons, and I want to go shopping for makeup, and hopefully by then I will be a lot smaller, so I can buy clothes because they have the cutest, cutest clothing and accessories. Um, I want to go to 6% Doki Doki, um, like all these places, there's so many places. I want to go to the cat cafes, the monster girl cafes, they have a plus size girl cafe, which I really want to go to and be like, yay, <laughs> my beepers, my plus size marshmallows, yay. Um, <laughs> so. You know, we're gonna, we're also going to go to, I think we're going to, um, Disneyland there, but I'm not quite sure because, like, I know my friend Domi and her husband really want to go, but I don't know if I want to go. I don't know, like, I'd rather go spend all day shopping, or maybe go to, like, the Pokemon Center. I don't know yet, so, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about it. Um, we've got our hotel, well, not hotel, but, like, our B&B booked, we got our passports, and our flights, so now we're just saving up for spending money, which I want to save up as much money as possible because I want to buy a bunch of stuff, and, um, I kind of want to, I'm hoping that when I get back I can do, like, a giveaway of awesome Japanese stuff, so... Um, so yeah, that I'm really excited about, um, I've been practicing, practicing, practicing my Japanese, um, I have, like, apps that, um, I've been working with, and, um, just hoping at least I can figure out how, if I get lost, to be like, I need to know where to go, where is help, because <laughs> when we get to Japan, I'll have no like phone um and that's scary because my phone is like a security blanket for me um because of my really bad anxiety which has gotten a lot worse <laughs> but my phone is like a security blanket for me if i don't have my phone in my hand and i can't use it then it, it drives me fucking insane so um i don't know how that's gonna work i hope i don't have a like panic attack I'm pretty sure I will have a few, um, in Japan, just because I'm gonna, it's gonna be a culture shock, pretty much, um, but as long as I'm there with my friend Domi and Dion, I should be fine, 
Um, I will be vlogging the entire experience. Like we've already, me and her have already talked about this, and um, she's actually doing videos like planning um, to go to Japan and all this kind of stuff. So I'll leave her channel below as well, um, so you guys can check out her videos and her planning um, for Japan and all that good stuff. Um, So, as I said, um, I spent Valentine's Day with a very special person. Um, I went to see them perform like a lion dancing. Um, I'll try to put some photos in here. And it was my first time ever seeing lion dancing and it was really, really cool. I was super impressed. Um, and I was just like, this is so cool, and it kind of made me want to get back into what I love to do, and that is dance. Um, I used to be in dance, like, I used to do hip-hop dance classes a lot when I was younger, um, and I loved it. And so, now that I'm more geared towards K-pop, I want to have like, be part of the dance team, pretty much. Um, I'm auditioning for one here in Atlanta. Um, as soon as I get over these ridiculous migraines that kill me to death, I am going to be auditioning for them. Um, thankfully, I can just send in a video and be like, hey, I really want to join your group. Can I please? Please? Um, or if that doesn't work out, then I will create my own. So let me know if you are in the uh, Gwinnett surrounding areas and love K-pop as much as I do. And if enough people want to, I, we can start a K-pop cover dance team. Um, I just love it. I love dancing so much and it's a great alternative to exercise. Um, you have the cardio, you have the train, like, you know, you get to tone your body, and I'm just, I really love it, and it's fun. Like, I hate boring exercise, it's just like, one, two, crunch, crunch, crunches, crunches, fucking shit, like, I told myself I was gonna keep doing blogilates, which I have been, but it's so boring. <laughs> and it's just so fucking boring to me, and I just... And I'm like, my brain is just like, I can't do this anymore. Because I'm literally, like, I literally feel like I'm holding my legs in the air for like 30 fucking minutes. And I can't. <laughs> it's just like, my back hurts. My head hurts. My legs hurt. My abs hurt. Everything hurts. Muscles that I didn't even know I had hurts. So, um, I think dancing would help me lose the weight and have fun at the same time and I can pay homage to the amazing K-pop choreography um, and maybe some, you know, American stuff, maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm not really big into American music anymore, um, so I just pretty much stay with K-pop, J-pop, J-rock, Visual K, um, stuff like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, let's see. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I will be dyeing my hair soon. It's been this ugly, faded, blondy brown color for a while now. But I have some hair dye. I got some Arctic Fox hair color and I'm really excited. I still had a lot left of my violet green that I had when my hair was like pink. Um, it's not really purple but um, it's pink. Um, like a fuchsia pink. And then I recently got sunset orange and I'm going to be doing like maybe the top blonde um, then orange and then pink. I think it would be a really cool kind of fiery look. Um, 
and I actually did kind of like the orange on me when I did have it. If you watched um, Vlogmas last year, I was so pissed <laughs> when I had the orange hair, but looking back, it actually looked really good on me, and I really did like it. So I think I'm going to go, like, if I can tone it with some pink of the blonde, like a really, really light, light blonde, maybe something kind of like what I have now, like this lighter blonde, I'm not sure yet, um, I kind of wanted my hair to grow out a little bit more, but as you can see, it's still kind of, I mean it's longer, but still kind of, you know, in the cut that I had previously, um, because I had it cut, um, like the drummer of Arlequin, come on, I had my hair cut like his, um, because I'm obsessed with that group, and I was just like, yes, I want to share very much, and now I'm like, fuck. <laughs> so, I don't know if I'm going to wait a little bit, or if I'm just going to go ahead and go for it, and maybe just do this side, the orange and pink, and then the rest, blonde. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, or if I should do, like, bring the orange, like, all the way around and the pink all the way around or what would you guys think <laughs> let me know help us sister out <laughs> yeah but um my weight loss i am down 30 pounds um since the beginning of the year and i am ecstatic um i ever since that certain person has come into my life um they have helped me exercise, eat healthy, they keep me, keep me going, um, we're always going somewhere, always doing something, so I'm always active, um, and I will, <laughs> I will forever be grateful to them, um, yeah, oh my god, um, but yeah, and I'm very, very, very happy that I'm actually sticking with this. Every now and then I do have like one, cheat, like I try to do like one cheat meal a week. Um, and like instead of having a whole cheat day, um, like I'll designate a certain day, which is usually Saturdays when I'm at the studio, and have one cheat meal, um, just so... Just because we're at the studio and I don't really, we don't have like a refrigerator or anything to keep food there, um, yet anyways, but um, yeah, <laughs> it's just like crazy. Um, so we usually eat out and I designate that as my one cheat meal, um, cause I usually only eat one time on the weekends because we're so busy, like we get to the studio super early and we leave probably the next day. <laughs> it's like two in the morning kind of thing. Thank God for Taco Bell. <laughs> like, for real. Um, also, my skin is, uh, it's not as best, but it's been clearing up a lot. And that is because I've been using the cognac sponge. Um, I saw, blah, blah, blah. I saw Jack Jack, um, do it, did like a review on it. And, um, I got in contact with the company and they sent me one for my skin type and so I'm going to be doing a review of that soon. Um, also I'm going to be doing a um, foundation routine. I don't think I've ever done one. So I thought why not? Um, I also want to finish my, well I only did like one of my um, Hiroyuki Takahashi um, inspired looks and I also want to integrate um, Exploration Beauty which I had talked to you guys about before, if you have been here a while. And it's basically exploring different Japanese trends, like makeup, skincare, hair stuff. And I really want to do like Kuro Gal or, um, you know, something inspired by uh, the Black Diamond, by Black Diamond, the Gal group. Um, I'm just not really sure how to go about it because 
I want to do this as like an homage to all of the Japanese fashions and makeup looks and all this kind of stuff, but I know you have to tan your skin, um, and as you guys can see, I'm pale as fuck, <laughs> um, and I don't want to offend anyone, if that makes sense, like, I don't think I will if I just have a little bit of a, like, a bronzy color on my face, but people are really, really touchy when it comes to stuff like that, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below about that, um, if you think that's a good idea, if not, you know, let me know, um, so yeah, um, I think that's about it for my update video, I know it's long, and you guys are like, shut the fuck up, um, but if you got this far, please give me a thumbs up, and, um, comment below with what you did on a Valentine's Day, whether you hung out with friends, or you stayed at home, or you had a marathon of Walking Dead, or whatever you did, um, I'd love to know, and, um, yeah, and also, give me ideas for more videos, so, leave those below, um, so yeah, <laughs> Um, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will, once these ridiculous migraines cease, um, I'm on a new, like, headache, I'm on two new headache medications, um, that my doctor prescribed, and I only have one of them now, because the other one, apparently she didn't prescribe, but she did, I don't fucking know. Um, so I'm hoping this will help, I'll be able to do my videos, and get my ass back in gear, um, like, work at Arlington has been draining me so bad, like, like, I literally, it's literally like working with Death Eaters, because I can go in in a great fucking mood for someone who has to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning to being, like, it's the end of the world, my life is over, I just want to sleep, I just want to cry, like, I pretty much cry every day at work, and I know that's not, you know, professional, or whatever, but it's part of my anxiety, and all that mental bullshit that I have to deal with on a daily basis, like, I literally have panic attacks upon panic attacks while I'm there, and I can't take anything for it, because the stuff I have for panic attacks knocks me out. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it sucks, because the stuff that I could be taking will knock me out, um, for days. Like, I have to be careful with the dosage that I take at night, because I had to take half of it, or else I will sleep for four days straight. And that's not good. <laughs> but, um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out all my social media, links below. Um, and all the people that I talked about in this video. And also, if you will be in Japan in October, let me know below and we can meet up and hang out. And all the good stuff. So, oh, and if you are in the area and need photos done, photography, makeup, whatever, holla. Um, yeah. <sighs> um, my email address and all that will be down below if you want to email me instead of, you know, commenting. So yeah. Um, I think I covered everything. I made a big old fun list. So, thank you guys for watching. If you have any video requests of what you would like to see, please let me know. And I will talk to all of you in my next video.